and welcome to another video for Auto Solution Checkpoint and guess what we are reviewing today? Bing! Can you guess what it is yet? It's not the Starship Enterprise. Need any more hints? What about now? A cool wee car. It's quite stylish inside. Got quite cool accents in that as well. Can't really see it now because it's dark, but I'll show you in the daylight. So yes, most of you have guessed that, but we're in a mini. Okay, so looking at it, you think, yeah, very, very nice. Now, the first image when it was in the dark, I think personally, it should have been kept in the dark. Um, it's a lot nicer car in the dark. probably thinking to yourself why I'm saying it should be better kept in the dark. Well, it's only really personal preference. When you mention the word mini, I automatically think, well, two-door car, or probably I say the old, only one, the two-door car, the newer one, three-door. But, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely little car, and it's well put together. The finishing's inside, it's very plush. Um, everything's tight, it's tight to drive as well. It's a lovely colour as well. The video doesn't do it any justice. Very nicely styled as well. Look at them wheels, beautiful. The bottom of the bumper is quite nice as well because it gives you the big kind of splitter look. And there's some very tasteful modifications you can do to these. Maybe not so much the five door, but the, the three door, it works really, really well. Um, and as you've seen at the start of the video, you get courtesy lights in behind the handle as well. I think the wing mirrors are really nice. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think uh, it's very well put together and it would be economical as well. It'd be great for the small family or even like a, a little sales rep or something. You want it down the country, nice economical diesel that has the power when you need it because it's not exactly shy on the road. I think it looks cool with the black roof as well, just to make it up. Under the bonnet is a whopping twin turbo uh, diesel engine. I wouldn't say it'd be mega difficult to work on. Um, never actually worked on this model before, um, but I would say everything's accessible to a degree. Interior is very well put together. Lovely little steel wheel, as you would expect from the modern minis. Really like these seats with the half leather and the tartan kind of effect. Really, really does work. Quite popular with the lady drivers. Nice switches up on the roof. Stereo is quite cool as well. Down here, you get your stop start. You get your port for your USB, a port for your AEX, and your uh, cigarette lighter. Really like the accents up here. Just breaking it up, gives you the fresh sporty look. It's quite a safe little car. Get your airbags all round. G1's so just covered 50,000 miles. It's also got economy mode and sport mode on the gear stick. In the back, I would say it's spacious enough. Obviously, where big people like these with the seat all the way back, you hardly get leg space. But give or take, you put the seat forward a wee tiny bit, you struggle with your own leg room at the front. You give the people in the back a chance. It's also got ISO fix. Uh, on the front seat, so you can put a child seat. It's also got isofix points here, so you can put two big seats in. It doesn't have anything in the middle, so if you have them big seats in, it'll be really, really cramped inside. You wouldn't really have room to put anybody in the middle. Very nice. The sound system on it is pretty good too. I wouldn't say it's very offensive with the interior. I actually quite like it. I think it really does work and it gives the car a lot of character. The boost is spacious enough, I don't think it's very wide, but the depth of it is pretty good. It doesn't have a spur wheel, but it's got a compressor. It doesn't actually have anywhere for the spur wheel to sit, which is a bit annoying. But, 
it's decent enough for what it is. Just make sure you've got good cover, uh, RAC or AA, that'll come out and they'll help you with your puncture and get you on the way. Just make sure it's full cover that covers you for recovery as well. I know you are thinking I'm being pretty critical here and very picky, but I think many should have kept to the three doors and never went any further past that. I've always said that, so take what you may from that. If it does take me a little, a little bit longer than a day, because obviously I have these a day, then I do a review on them and just give you my own personal opinion. But I would need this here a little more than a day to see if I could get used to having the extra doors. Give or take, see this didn't have the mini badge and it was something else. Yeah, it's quite an alright looking car. Obviously it's more modern than what I'm into, but at the end of the day I've got to be a critique with it. Is he driving it? Honestly. I think the thing drives pretty well. And there's plenty of pickup, plenty of room in the little diesel engine. It's comfortable. Yeah. And see what I like about these seats, they're quite sporty. And the whole game place as well. See if you can subtract the fact that it's got extra doors at the back and you're inside this, you feel, you feel like you're in like a sporty little three-door car. Everything's tight as a drum. It just doesn't feel like there's lack of quality. Like, see, say just say for instance, the, the Jap cars, yeah, as I was showing you in the Aggo video, whenever you close the door, you know that you're closing something Jap. On these, when you close the door, you know that you're closing something of quality. The same kind of effect when, whenever you close the door of like a BM, like obviously they're the same company, but you see what I'm getting at here? It's the strong build, and that's why these hold their money. I don't know much about the, the little engine in this. If you're doing your service in their builds, like preemptively at maybe 9,000 miles, this vehicle should look after you. It's quite fast for what it is. It would take you a wee bit of, it would take you a wee while to get used to what everything does. But again, it's a BMW. So the thing that I was actually surprised as well, it's got indicators as well, so um, and I'm using them. So I can see all the BM people going, ooh, you let us down, you, you use the indicators, you're not supposed to use the indicators. Well, I've used the indicators, so get it up here. <laughs> The stereo system is pretty decent in it, there's a good sound coming from it, very clear, you get your hands free as well for safety, air conditioning, climate control, um, the heater's really good as well, when you put it in sport mode, you can just stick it in sport mode and see what the deal is with this. So I think the sport mode maybe adjusts the suspension. Make it more stiffer. Look at the mid. And green for economy. I think that's what it is. Should really good enough. Electric like windows all round, electric like mirrors. The door handles are actually quite smart. They've got the panic button integrated on the door as well for locking and unlock. Quite a tiny little mirror. The sun visors have a courtesy mirror and uh, light integrated in it as well. You've actually got an SOS button where you can speak to BMW. Now I know, I'm not too sure if it does it with these, but if you have an accident with this, it automatically phones BMW, like BMW Assist or something, asking you if you're okay and you need an ambulance and that. One of my friends was working on a BM before the airbag went off in his workshop. He was actually repairing it, putting a roof line in it, and the airbag went off. So he never disconnected the battery. So the airbags went off, and instantly, BMW phone, the UK, okay? we get you any help? I think that's brilliant. So I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Maybe not so much on the looks, but this was a three door in this colour. I would actually go and buy one, to be honest. I know what I say about the small cars, but I would be willing to make an exception and actually buy one of these. So it wouldn't be a proper review if I didn't take it out on the motorway, so I've got to get a wee burn up the motorway and tell you exactly what I think. It's also got six gears as well. I believe, see on most cars with six gears nowadays, you always feel like you need extra gears. I don't know where it's because of the gear ratio that they do the gearboxes in, 
but always get that impression that it needs to be um, like an extra couple of years you can get into it. You trust that they absolutely start bucketing down. We're now out in the water bay. Man, it actually feels like a tail still then. And again, that was the rice bed. Bonnie Scotland. Uh, I think Bonnie Scotland invented the rain cloud. This thing is so smooth, you can take it anywhere. You can take it on long distance, you can take it across Europe. It just feels so comfortable. And to be honest, you're getting all the support when you're needing that. That would be quite satisfied using this. And again, the approach the elephant in the room, it's got too many doors. Too many doors. Many shouldn't have that many doors. But it does. But again, subtract the fact that it's got too many doors. It's a good car. It feels great to drive. Everything's super smooth. Everything's solid where everything should be. Um, quite funky little lights in the dash to change colour as well. Um, yeah, take what you may off it. At the end of the day, it's your own personal preference, what you like. I'm not keen on the outside, but on the inside, the diving off it, I would take it anywhere. I'd be happy enough with this. So, but they'd only be in the 1.5 dual turbo. It does shift. It's got 115 brake horsepower. Now, I wouldn't like to see the size of the turbos. They'll probably be tiny, tiny electric things. But, the thing shifts when it needs to. I don't know what it'll be like if these things go wrong. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure what the things to look out for on these yet. Um, but I know that, again, the same as EM as well, failing rubbers. So rubbers on door frames and stuff, flaying off. But again, service these, over service them, and they should look after you. Running boss of this year, I would say it would be quite friendly. It's zero road tax, which I think's great, because to be honest, I don't think anybody should be charged road tax, regardless. I think it's all a big scam. It's just like the TV license, it's all a big scam, because no tax money doesn't go to the roads. You know, it binds the pockets of the government and we're basically the puppets in the bond. Running cost of this, I would say it'd be quite economical. Um, when things go wrong, that's a different story. But we'll maybe see that for another video just down the line if I ever need to work on one of these. Um, but at the moment, getting all looking over it, I think it's a great big car. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Mini Cooper T, DT model, gets the thumbs up from Auto Solutions Checkpoint. Absolute cracking little car. These ones are not too bad as well. It's a four wheel drive. Great in the upcoming winter. But again, let me know in the description below what you think and if you have got any use from this video, please like and subscribe as well because you're doing the channel a great, great justice. Then 10 over and out.